Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Unity episode number two and we have met our protagonist Arno and I've just spent a few minutes just practicing my parkour skills a little bit but it's not really that different than the previous game so after a few episodes I should have uh, a hang of it again. And yeah, I guess we will just um, continue with our next main mission, which is all the way over here. I had a look at the map, um, there isn't really that much going on, mostly chests. And we have one more viewpoint, so I may want to synchronize that um, on my way to the mission. And yeah, um, I don't really know how much side content I am going to do in this game. For the most part, I want to focus on the main story, especially if the side content is just what we are used to from previous games. Uh, in that case, I will skip a lot of that or do it off camera. And most of what I will show in this Let's Play is going to be the main mission. But if you think there are any specific side missions that are relevant or interesting or different and I should do them on camera, just leave a comment and let me know. But yeah, um, I guess we are good to go now. Also, I gotta say, I'm slightly confused by the tree color over here. I am pretty sure that this was not the French flag before the revolution, so... I'm not sure if that should be here. But okay, let's uh, head over to our next uh, mission. And I mean, we may want to check out some of the smaller collectibles here just to see what they are all about. For example, there is something over here. Allegedly right over here, but I'm going to assume it's up in the air. I think, according to the map, they are cocards. <laughs> um, I'm going to assume they may be something like um, feathers. Well, yes, it is a collectible, kind of like feathers. And I'm not sure what kind of reward you get for collecting all of these and if it's worth the effort. But yeah, let's um, head over to our next mission and I will synchronize that viewpoint too. Oh, um, I didn't see that there was this um, thing that you can use to get up quickly. I mean, the camera is a little bit unusual in this game doesn't always center itself properly so I gotta get used to that we seem to have like a fast travel spot over here but don't really need to use that at the moment oh and now it's starting to rain excuse me excuse me Coming through. <laughs> uh, so many people. So many people I have to run through. So, um, am I getting close to... Yeah, I am getting close to the landmark. Can I put a marker? Yes, I can. It's space. And yeah, the fact that I can just run into buildings like that something that I have to get used to as well because you couldn't really do that in previous games I mean there were obviously levels that were inside buildings but they were always separate from the outside world just seamlessly walking from the outside into a building was not possible in previous games okay Arno let's Climb all the way up to the spire. I'm also liking the new animations, like the new climbing animations. They are different from the previous games. Anyway, let's synchronize. Ok, 
Okay, um, now I can probably jump down this way. Yep, I can. And it's a deep one. There we go. Alright, well, um, I think we are ready to check out our mission over here. Okay, it's the place where we started, right? So we're back here. Sequence 1, Memory 3, High Society. Okay, let's do it. Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well, I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise then. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't <laughs> invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. It's not nice to go to parties that you're not invited to. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three. Perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. Hm. I'll just wait here then. <laughs> I mean, you made all the effort to try to deliver that letter. Shouldn't you, like, finish this now and actually deliver it? <laughs> um, okay, so we are inside now. Go to De La Serre's office. Okay. Where exactly would that be? I mean, it seems to be right here. Maybe it's the door over here. Nope. Oh, I see. It's probably upstairs. Okay, that makes sense. And again, look how colorful and shiny everything is. Also, I see a few chests standing around. Maybe I can collect a bit of money. Like this one. <laughs> okay, I got a hundred francs. Not sure what the currency in, in this time is. Um, right, I am at the right spot apparently. So, what do you want me to do here? I'd best not just... leave without dropping off this letter. Oh, I could just you want slip to... it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. You're just going to leave the letter here. For once he comes back. There. Safe and sound. And only slightly delayed. <laughs> and now... To the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Hear, hear, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. So you're just going to steal some new outfit. <laughs> okay. Well, look at you. Maximilien Robespierre. Hmm. No guest. Oh no. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. Hmm. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation, <laughs> no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Well, nice try. Charles Gabriel Sivert. Of course, that's not going to stop you, right? Next, please. Of course, it's not going to stop you. Entered a restricted guess. area. Okay, um. I. got to. 
Okay, I have already completed this. What's going to be my next objective? Infiltrate the palace. Okay, um... But if the area is restricted, I still have to look for guards, right? Not seeing any in the vicinity, though. I'm just seeing a lot of guests. Anyway, I have to get up somehow, so why don't we just climb up? Oh, well, um, there most certainly are guards. I just learned this the hard way. Oh, I can't climb any higher than this because of some kind of spiky barrier. How unfortunate. Apparently they expect this kind of behavior and put up some barriers here, huh? <laughs> that is unfortunate indeed. But I can still shimmy along the walls, I suppose. Okay. Oh no, that was a little bit too low. Go back up. There we go! Find Elise! Um, again. Let's make sure... Well, we do have guards in here. So I'm going to assume they would be a problem for me here as well. We got hiding spots, but... Oh, it seems that they're currently not looking. Yep, they are looking the other way. Stealth navigation. Press control to navigate silently. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, I can actually, like, crouch. That is kind of new. I mean, you could crouch previously, but he would just do it automatically whenever he was hidden. Oh, and I need to enter cover manually. I see. Alright. This is a new mechanic. This is definitely new. Okay, I see another guard in the next room. Um, it looks like he's not looking. Aim left and press space to swap cover. Oh. Okay. This almost reminds me of um, Deus Ex, the cover mechanic. All right. Um. Can I just jump over here? Yes, I can. You up there! Stop! Made it! Get down! Will you let me back in if I do? But then what? I get discovered in a cutscene. Well, oh, then, stupid! If it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. Come here! Oh boy! So, um, I am in the right area, do I still have to watch for guards? I mean, there are some people that are marked or highlighted, but they don't look like guards to me. So I think I'm going to stay in the green area. Oh, and do we have a firework outside? It sounded like a firework. Yep. Of course. Yeah, what's up with these guys? Why are they marked in yellow? I mean, usually gold is like a target, but in this case, probably not. Quite the turnout this evening. 
I can't remember the last time we were all together like this. It must have been that business with, um... And I would thank you not to speak of that. Madam. Hmm. Hey, look at this guy over here. I mean, they must be somehow special. They're highlighted and I can, like, eavesdrop on them, apparently. That's how it seems, anyway. Now, um... Can't go through these doors, can I? No, I don't think I can. What about this one? Because there's still more green area in that direction. So I have to find another way to get there, huh? I wish I could properly see the fireworks. Yep, this guy again. How weird. There's another one. <laughs> okay, but this over here is a dead end. So how do I get to the green area over here? Currently not really seeing a way to get through here. Oh, maybe through here? There we go. I found her. Merci. Un autre jour. For sure, the plebs would riot this afternoon. So I have to follow her now. Okay, again, she's highlighted in gold, but she's actually a target. Well, I don't think I actually have to stay hidden from her. She clearly knows that I'm here. Oh no, now she's running. The problem is I can't run. <laughs> ah. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Indeed. Oh, you Indeed. were the worst one. Well, that was quick. father's suit <laughs> are you wearing a dress oh, don't even start i feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy it's not like that truth be told it's a lot of ceremony and pontification dull as dirt well when you don't invite me to your parties everyone suffers i did try but my father was adamant your father <laughs> go i'll distract them what okay you're kicking me out it's Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! Okay, so she's a daughter of the guy who we're trying to give a letter to. Okay, sneak out of the palace, don't get into conflict. Let's see, um, again, there are these spiky barriers everywhere, so I can't just go up. Um, gotta go down, I suppose. The problem is, my map 
doesn't really tell me much here. Okay, we have some guards over here. They are not looking. Waste of time. There's nobody out here. You are totally right. There is nobody out here. Um. Let's see. That's the only door I can go through, huh? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I surely thought he would see that. But apparently not. And I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way here. However, my map isn't really of any help, so I just have to hope that I'm going in the right direction here. I mean, this seems to be a bad room. Are you sure this is the right way out of here? Okay, we got an open door over here. Who's even going to come out here? Ten to one I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. Hm. Um, okay, he is not looking. These guys are not looking. These guards are very good at not looking. Okay, I think this is actually an exit. But we still may have guards on the outside, I suppose. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Oh! Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre! Monsieur de la Serre! This is no good. Sivir, come away! Guards! Help! Oh Murder! no. Oh no. Oh no. Now how this is going to end. <laughs> so I guess that um, Monsieur de la Serre was kind of his, I don't know, adoptive father because I think there was a guy that uh, talked to him when his father got killed. So I guess he grew up with him and Elise is uh, his daughter and now his adoptive father is dead too. Well, that is interesting. So, sequence one, memory three complete. Um, and I didn't get into conflict, so I finished the challenge as well. Someone's reading They're Caesar. Killing us! Oh God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here. That's enough of that, you degenerate. <laughs> Where am I? In hell. <laughs> Great. Oh, look at all these markings on the wall. That is unusual. Anyway, um, apparently we are in prison now, but we can... Look around, go to sleep. No, I don't want to go to sleep now. 
Let's see what else do we got here. Look outside. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Doesn't really tell us much. I suppose we can talk to our fellow prisoners, huh? Well, not this guy, apparently. Welcome to your new home. Um, thank you. Are you going to tell me your name? So we can get acquainted? But I'm mostly interested in that guy if he is responsible for these drawings. Hello? I must speak to someone! <laughs> well, there's someone in here. I guess we can speak to him. But yeah, look at all these symbols. We've seen them before, usually um, in glyphs hidden on the map in previous games. So, are you the artist? What are you staring at, Pisspot? I'm staring at the writings on the wall. I would like to know who made them. Don't bother me, boy. <laughs> okay, apparently he doesn't want to talk to me. From where I'm sitting, I could kill you seven ways. Oh God. Twelve if I had a spoon. A spoon? You want to kill me with a spoon? So Good luck with that. If you snore, I'll strangle you in your sleep. <laughs> That's fair warning. Well, thank you for the warning. What? I'm just uh, trying to make conversation. And it totally seems like Arno to just keep on talking to people even if they tell you not to. He seems like that kind of person, right? Okay, but now he's no longer highlighted. I guess I can't talk to him anymore. But I might be able to talk to this guy again. You should feel honored. These days the Bastille is reserved for madmen, deviants and traitors. <laughs> oh, it's a Bastille. Well, if you want your front seats for the revolution, then this is a place to be, I suppose. So the question is, did you kill someone important or fuck someone important? Mm. Hmm? Well, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with you and Elise, but I'm pretty sure he's here because of killing someone important. Not that it makes much difference now. Here we're all well and truly fucked. I guess so. Okay, apparently he has no more dialogue. So can I interact with this again? Yes, I can. Open this door! Like. Not the hot no one cares. Uh, apparently. I must speak with Elise de la Serre. Do you hear me? Elise de la Serre! Well, you are accused of killing her father. I'm not sure what she thinks about that. Especially since um, the evidence is kind of damning. Elise! Bring Elise to me! They literally found you next to the dead body. And I'm pretty sure that's all the evidence you need in this time and age. I'm no killer! <laughs> You're wasting your time. I think so too. But I still gotta use all my options. Okay, apparently that's about it. Which means... Um, oh, hang on a second. Apparently I can talk to him again. Forget about escape. It's a fool's dream. Uh, we'll see about that. So, um... Is anything else in here that I need to do? No, in that case... I will go to sleep. And I guess this is going to be my sleeping place here. Oh God! It's inhuman! The blood! So much blood! Oh, but they didn't take the clock away from you. I suppose it's kind of broken. The glass is broken anyway. So probably not of that much value. Alright, well... 
Let's see if we have to find a way out of here or if we just going to wait for revolution to break out. Where'd you come by this, pisspot? Oh, well. I'm in no mood for this. Give it back. Take it back. Hmm. If you think you can. Well, guess someone is really bored. If you wanna fight in here, My okay. She's Belgian. What's the matter, my delicate flower? Try to beat this guy. Oh well, um, he has some interesting tricks. But so do I. All right, this time I actually parried. Well struck, this bud. Mm -hmm. See if your defense is as good. Well, I guess we'll see about that. So much effort for a broken antique. The only cost of parry. Knock out the thief. Find nothing more to say, old man. He's already very bloody. Don't you have enough, my friend? I mean, clearly, I'm slightly better than you, huh? I'm not bloody at all. Give me what's mine, and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings? <laughs> He's here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Mm-hmm. Where, where? Come here, you little piss boy. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. Oh, can you only see them with eagle vision? Ah, okay. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. <laughs> he died at Versailles. Well, 76, 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. Mm -hmm. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, <laughs> but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Hmm? Good question. At the moment, he might be your best way out of here. Well, um, maybe there is another okay. way out of here because it seems that there's already some stuff Focus going on spot. outside. What the hell is going on out there? Citizens are restless. Keep an ear open. Opportunity might just come knocking soon. Mm-hmm. I think so too. That was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners. Follow the Okay, let's use this opportunity to get out of here. Pierre Bellek. Okay. Before the guards come. Enter cover. Okay. Um. Hide from the guards. Okay. Funny, this is the only way to properly hide here. Kill the guards. Prison is up against the wall. I told you this was going to end badly. Silence! Stay back! I mean, I don't really have a weapon, just a wooden sword. So how am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see. 
like a choke attacker. There we go. Right, let's get out of this shell. Nice work. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to follow your lead now. Oh, suddenly I'm up here. Well, maybe I'm not going to follow your lead. Oh dear, um... Oh, I need to defend him. I see. So, let's do it. I mean, he's an assassin. You would think that he can defend himself. But I guess we're going to help him. And we have proper weapons now, so that's good. Press Q to heal. But first of all, let's loot this guy. Find a solution. Lovely. Well, first of all, I guess I have to deal with these guards. And I hope he can find a way to get out of here. Alright. Can I loot any of you? Oh, well, um, I think I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, where? Where did you go to? Um, 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 I'm not, I'm not seeing exactly where I'm supposed to go here. There's just smoke bombs everywhere. Okay, here we go. An open window. Great. Let's try to stay a little bit higher. <laughs> this was confusing. Okay, but we made it. And like I said, I'm not really happy with a camera in this game so far because the camera is just all over the place. But I hope I will get used to it. Okay, I have to defend him again. Fire! Oh! Fire, damn you! Stop the prisoners! Come on! Stay there! Alright, let's take down all of these guys. Ooh, um, yeah, they are firing. Should probably kill the guy with a gun. Any of them? Where now? Oh, brilliant. And how do we get down again? Trust me. Um, so where did you go to again? He's somewhere up high. But how did he get it there? That's the question. Probably up here? here. That's the only way that looks like I can climb it. I surrender! Okay, you surrender? In that case, I guess I'm going to leave you be. What are you waiting for, Pesspot? It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drake <laughs> took care of that a long time ago. Now get up there! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! You jumped down the spires before! You can pluck your head out of your own arse. Come find us. Make a great fit. Goodbye, this pot. I have a name, you know. You back away from the ledge. Come on, just jump. You've done it before. Let's just perform our leap of faith here. There we go. 
And yeah, looks like revolution is about to start. End the game. We actually have our title screen now. <laughs> nice. Please? That's some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arnaud. And I know who yours was. Hmm. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin. Me a Templar. Oh, I see. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't. Is that? A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not hmm. even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you, L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. I know, Pen. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Yeah, you don't really expect that kind of stuff Jeez. in a letter. Also, what order were they talking about in the letter? The Templar order or the Assassin's order? Questions over questions. And well, that looks like Notre Dame right here. Press V to activate Eagle Vision. The devil is this supposed to mean? Don't ask me. You're the assassin. All right, we are in Paris. Paris is now open. You can now explore the city or play the next single-player mission to continue Arno's story. Thank you a lot. Sequence 2, Memory 1, Imprisoned. I didn't uh, finish the smoke bomb evasions, but <laughs> that mission was a little bit chaotic anyway, especially since I still get used to the controls again. But overall, I think I wasn't doing so bad. But yeah, here we are in Paris and apparently the game is not wasting a lot of time and uh, gets done with the exposition pretty quickly so he knows now that he is uh, well his father was an assassin and that you know the assassin's order would be open to him if he chooses to do so 
And apparently we have um, our Templars established as well, so I'm sure that's going to be interesting. However, um, the episode is long enough, so I think I'm going to end it here. And we will maybe explore this place a little bit in the next episode before we continue with our next mission. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.